WTFNN. Headline News Update. Uh, okay, folks, Larry Pesavino doing the mid-afternoon update. I've been gone for about six or seven days. I've had COVID. Starting to get over it a little bit. This is the first day I've been able to talk without any uh, pain, so I'm beginning to believe that we're getting close to uh, something that's going to be okay. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be talking about today is the reaction that we've seen here in the markets, given the fact that we have war going on in the Middle East, and it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better, as you probably already know. Whenever the press comes out there and tells you about the atrocities, you can imagine uh, the feedback that you get. I mean, sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative, but uh, it brings a lot of emotion out. I think it's terrible the fact that some of these sites like TikTok and Instagram were showing some of the horrific things and some little kids were able to uh, get in and see some of that, which uh, don't want to see that. That gives you nightmares for a long time. Anyway, what we're going to try to do today is to look at this from a technical standpoint because I don't trust the fundamentals, haven't believed in them for a very long time, but I do believe in the charts. And they've told us a nice story here. And I'd like to go over that uh, over the next half hour or so. Our guest today will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Uh, uh, to, on Friday, we're going to have, for the whole time, Joe DiNapoli will be talking. No politics, just Joe with his little fib calculator. And he'll be our guest uh, to, on Friday. Okay, I'm working on a guest for tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, haven't been able to solidify it as of yet. But I did want to give a hats off to uh, Stan Harley, who was our guest a couple of weeks ago, and he said to watch for October the 6th as a possible bottom date. And by golly, there was just absolute spot on on that Friday. And then, of course, we had the big ABCD down there at the 4360. Uh, we went to 4335, and we've had a 140 point rally here in three days in the midst of some really bad news. And, boy, that's one thing you want to remember. If the market doesn't go down on bad news, folks, it's only got one place to go, and that's up. I tried to cover that in the newsletter and then also in the the one video that I was able to send out. I should be able to start sending videos out by tomorrow. The program they've given me has been broken, and I'm trying to get a new one fixed. So that's where I stand. Stay tuned. We'll be right back, 877 927 Four eight. 